Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my May Beauty Favorites. I have so many products in front of me and I'm so happy that I have so many items this time because I always feel like I don't have enough. And honestly, these are all the products that I was truly loving in the month of May and I've just been using them non-stop. If I sound a little nasally or a little congested, it's because my allergies are crazy. Around this time of year, I really get um, bad allergies and I try to take care of myself, but it just, it doesn't work. So anyways, if you guys want to see what my main favorite products were, then just keep on watching. Alright girls, so we're going to start with um, skincare items. I have two or three. The first one that I wanted to mention is the Spin for Perfect Skin, which is this one right here. Um, I know that I've talked about this before and I even showed it in my nighttime skincare routine that I did a few months back and I've been using this for about a year now and I love it so much. If you guys are new to my channel or if you guys are not, um, I did go to Mexico a f almost a month ago and um, we stopped by Vegas on our way back and unfortunately I think I left my brush in Vegas and I just haven't had the time to go get a freaking face brush back in Vegas. The days that I did not use it, like it just, it made such a difference in my skin. Like I just didn't realize how useful this was in my skincare routine until I didn't have it with me. So I definitely needed to get a new one. I believe I have a coupon code that you can use for Spain for uh, Perfect Skin. It's not an affiliate code, but it just saves you money because these retail for $100 and with my coupon code, I think you can get it for $30. So talking about skincare, I recently tried out the same types, Even and Bright, Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Scrub. This is what it looks like and oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. I've actually used the Peach Scrub for years and years and years. I just haven't used it anymore. Um, that one's a lot more rough on the skin and this one is more on the moderate side as far as exfoliating your skin. I remember the first time that I bought it and then the next morning when I looked at my skin, I'm like, damn, my skin is looking good. I was like, why is my skin looking so good? And I remembered that I had picked this up and my skin just looks a lot more bright. It looks a lot more even. It feels very soft. I don't know what's in this, like some sort of magical dust particles or something because this stuff is amazing. It's drugstore. It's very, very affordable. And again, it's not very abrasive on the skin. It does make just every imperfection just, it clears it up. So I really recommend this. Now I wanted to mention one hair product that I've actually been loving for a few months now, but I've just been forgetting to mention it because it's usually in my bathroom, so I just don't remember to talk about it. This is the Hawaiian Silk Miracle Worker 14 in 1. It's a leave-in conditioner that you apply when your hair is damp. I like to use this right after I get out of the shower. I use my little uh, towel to dry my hair, and then when it's a little bit moist, I'll just apply this. and. First of all, it smells so good. I can't even smell because I have so many mocos, but <sighs> it smells amazing. And it has so many good things for you. It adds shine, it suits dry scalp, it reduces breakage and strengthens your hair. Um, it repairs chem chemically damaged hair, it's non-greasy, it detangles, and it increases body thermal protection. I picked mine up at Sally's for, I think, five or seven dollars. And I love it. It just makes my scalp feel so good and it smells so good and it's not greasy whatsoever. It's just a little spray nozzle. You just spray it on your hair, you scrunch it up, and you're good to go. I want to give these lashes a quick shout out because I've been loving them so much. Um, as you can see, I have been using them and I've actually used them in a few of my recent tutorials. These are the Coco Lashes in the style Amore or Amore. These are so gorgeous. I have a few pictures on my Instagram where I am wearing these and they're just absolutely gorgeous. I really like them. They're not very expensive. I think they're six or seven dollars. So very affordable and mine lasts me a long time. Okay, so a product that has just, I feel transformed my skin and I am so happy that I came across this. This is the Joanna Vargas Daily Serum. This is a revitalized and alkalized clarifying serum that restores skin balance and resilience. 
guys, this is the best daily serum that I have ever come across. The first time that I wore it, I really didn't think anything of it. That same day, I went out with my best friend. We had lunch, and she was looking at my skin. She's like, your skin looks so soft. I'm like, where? So I looked at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, my skin does look super soft. And I am pretty sure, or actually, I'm 100% sure that it was this because I continue to use it and every time I apply it, my skin just looks soft. It looks like baby bum soft. I will have a link to where you can purchase this because it's bomb.com. Talking about primer, serums, whatever, I recently picked up the Becca Evermatte Parless Priming Perfector. Thanks to my girl Cheryl here on YouTube. I will have her YouTube name if you guys want to check her out. She's hilarious. I asked her if she thought this was a good primer because I remember seeing her talk about this and she said that it was amazing that I had to get it. So I did go ahead and pick it up and I love it. I have other primers that claim to be mattes and I just feel like this is the best. Like nothing holds a candle to this. This is such a good primer. It really keeps my skin matte. Now it's not the best as far as um, you know making your pores seem a little bit smaller. My pores are still there. But I do like it for my oily skin, especially now that we're getting into the summer. I just really like this. I even wear it when I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever. Just so I don't look like a freaking oil slick. I'll just apply this onto my problem areas and I'm good to go. I really like it. It is a little bit pricey. It's Becca, but I think it's totally worth it. I actually have four concealers to share with you guys. And I know that you've seen these in my recent makeup tutorials. The first two that I want to mention are the Kevin Aquan um, Essential, the, the Essential Skin Enhancer. I cannot speak today. I actually have two of them. I have SX06 and SX08, which are these right here. Now these are definitely more on the heavy side. A little bit goes such a long way. I've had a struggle with these because I've applied it too much and then I get really cakey around this area. If you're a makeup artist, if you do freelance work, I think these are really good. They're definitely very, very expensive, but honestly they're worth it because you're just going to have these for so long. Um, the bottle is pretty small, but again, just a tiny bit goes such a long way. The other two concealers that I've just been loving and I'm actually wearing them today, I think I did go a little bit crazy, that's why it looks so right underneath here. These are the MAC Pro Long Work Concealers. I have mine in NC30 and NC20 and I really like them, especially NC20. Now the reason why I picked up NC20 is because I've been really trying to transform my nose. I don't know if you guys have seen a difference within the recent videos, but I've been trying to contour my nose a lot better and I found a technique where you just use very light concealers and you pretty much hide the parts where you want to conceal. For example, my nose is very wide so I want to make sure and conceal this or make it disappear as much as I could. So you definitely want to use concealers that are very, very light. Um, again, I'm still struggling with it. I haven't you know, gotten it down to a T but I'm working on it and I know that some of you have asked me for a new or for a nose contour. So let me just get the technique right a little bit more, let me tweak it a little bit more and then I'll be more than happy to do a nose contour video for you guys. Surprisingly enough, I actually have only two lip products that I want to mention. The first one is this one by Lime Crime. This is actually a fake or a dupe from eBay. If you haven't seen that video, I will, I will have it linked down below. But out of all the lipsticks that I purchased from eBay that are Lime Crime, this is definitely my favorite. I've worn it at least three or four times within the last couple of weeks. And it's that one right there. It is just the most beautiful nude beige brown. I just absolutely love it. The other lipstick, and this is actually not a lipstick, it's a lip gloss. This is by the brand Elle, and this is called Scott, and I love this. It is that perfect peachy pink nude gloss. It is this one right here, and I love wearing this when I'm wearing a nude lipstick. I'm kind of getting back in the trend of wearing lip glosses, and these are definitely my favorite that I own so far because they're not sticky. 
and they're very shiny. Um, if you guys own any other lip glosses that you think are amazing, please let me know. Now for my eyebrows, do you guys know if you have been a loyal follower for the past few months, even a year, you guys know that I love my NYX Pomade in Ebony and the NYX Eyebrow Freak Gel Freak or something like that that I've been wearing it for probably a year, maybe a year and a half. I placed an order at ColourPop a few weeks ago. I actually picked up their brow gel and I got mine in black brown. And I also picked up their brow pencil and this one is in the same color, I believe. Yep, black brown. This is so creamy. A little goes a very, very long way. Same goes for this guy. It's very pigmented. I know that some people didn't like that, that it was too creamy, but I like it. And I just love, I, I love it. I don't know what else to say. I love these two together. Now, the other brow products that I've been loving is this one by Tanya Crooks. It's called the Brow Gel, and we actually received this one in our Ipsy Glam, Ipsy? Not Ipsy. Boxy Charm. I don't have Ipsy. This is, it's bomb. I have two pencils for the waterline, whatever you guys want to call it. The first one is from ColourPop, and this one is in Honeydew. It's the one that I'm wearing for my waterline today. I don't know if you guys can see that. My eyes are so red because of my freaking allergies. But I'm wearing this one on my waterline today, and it's so pretty. It is pretty long-lasting. I wouldn't say that it lasts me all day, but it is very long-wearing, and it's very, very creamy and super inexpensive. And then the other pencil that I've been loving a lot is the Rocker Chic Velvet Touch Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And this one is by J Cat Beauty, and this is in the color 102 Black and Black. This is such an intense creamy black eyeliner. That is literally one swatch and it is very creamy. Now the reason why I really like this one is because it actually stays in place. Sometimes when you wear black eyeliner on the top and then nude liner on the bottom it tends to transfer and this one doesn't really do that. I do see a little bit of transfer but nothing compared to any other eyeliner that I have and these are very inexpensive. They actually send me a PR package with a whole bunch of lip liners and some of their gel eyeliners and this one is definitely my favorite so far. Okay, I'm almost done. So, powder that I've been loving is this Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. Now, mine is in Fair Light Neutral which is a lot lighter than my skin tone as you will see. Obviously, I am not this light, but again, because I've been trying to transform my nose, make it look a lot thinner, slimmer, this is what I use to just set the under eyes, which is why it might look very bright. And I set it underneath, or right here in the center of my forehead and on my chin, just to balance the light in my face. And this is so creamy. I think I'm going to pick up a color that is actually my skin tone, because it's very creamy and I love it. Now, for highlights, of course, I have to mention the highlights. These are the new Lorac highlighters, and this one is in the color Twilight. This is actually the one that I'm wearing on my cheekbones today, my forehead, my nose, my chin, my little... Mm -hmm. If you can see this glow, mm -hmm. that ain't natural. That's this highlight. So out of the ones that they had, this is the one that just caught my attention the most. And... I really like it. I've been using it a lot. I think you guys should try it if you haven't because it's fun. Of course I was going to mention the Benefit Chicathon. This stuff is amazing. This is actually a limited edition palette. So if you guys don't have it, if you guys want it, get it because it's limited edition. It's $65 I believe, but it's totally worth it. I think it's retail value is about $150, $145. You get four through five, I cannot count, you get five full-size products. You get Dandelion, which is the most gorgeous pink hula, and then you get Hula, which is obviously the best bronzer ever to live. That's what I have on my face today, and I just love it. They also have Rockateur, which is such a pretty, I don't even know, it's a blush, but it has a little bit of highlight in it and the details on it is just gorgeous. You also get Dallas, which is actually one of my favorite ones. It's a very pretty, mm, like a mauve with a little bit of bronziness to it. And then the last one is Coralista, which is the perfect 
peach blush. Also not to mention you do get their little brush which is amazing. This is what I've been using to just chisel out my cheekbones, my jawline and I love it. These are amazing and it smells so good. The very last thing that I wanted to mention, and I have talked about this before in my eBay haul, this is the Cin Cinema Brush Cleanser. I throw away the bottle. One of you actually recommended for me to put it in a little spray bottle, and that is such a great idea. Thank you. Now, this is definitely a spot treatment type of cleanser. You want to make sure that you deep clean your brushes, but for bigger brushes like these that can hold more bacteria, more germs, more... Um, maybe dead skin. You definitely want to deep clean these and my favorite way of cleaning them is with um, Cabon Sonde which is like a Mexican soap. It's only a dollar, super cheap and it gets the job done. Okay guys, so that is everything. That is, Those are all the products that I was loving for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if any of these products caught your attention and if they did, which one maybe you'll be picking up in the future and also as always Share with me what your favorite products were for the month of May. I always read your comments, reply back to you guys, and I mean, obviously, I gotta lurk and see what products you guys have been loving because more than likely, I will love them too. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and become a member of my family. I love you guys, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!